you know, they're a delicacy in the South, but here in Michigan, they could ruin ponds, kill off native fish, cost taxpayer dollars as experts scramble for a fix. This morning, we're talking about the red swamp crawfish and their growing concerns over these creatures. 7X News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Novi this morning. And Matt, is there anything that the rest of us can do right now? Well, honestly, the first thing you can do is report one if you see it. We're talking about the red swan crayfish or crawfish, if you like the southern pronunciation. Uh, this is a trap that they set daily. They also go by the Louisiana crawfish, if you've ever heard of that. Now, if we were down south, uh, we'd be having a crawfish boil. We'd be all excited about this. That's great. But up here, they cause all sorts of problems. Let me show you a picture so you kind of get an idea of what these things actually do. They are uh, dark red. They have bumps all over them. They got claws. They can actually draw blood, believe it or not, when they pinch you. We saw it when we were out here the first time earlier last week. And, and let me tell you, this is a big concern because they can kill off a whole lot of fish. They eat eggs and they kill off native crayfish. They also do something that we want to show you right over here as well. They actually will do burrows. Uh, let me kind of get down in here. You can see last year they've been here for only one year and you can already see how they burrow and then you kind of get a little bit of erosion. If I were to reach my hand in here, we would actually get about six foot down. Some of the people who do this will get shoulder width. I don't like to do that because I don't want to get bit, but the reality is these things are causing all sorts of issue. When they were first introduced here, it exploded to a population of more than 4,000 in this small one acre pond alone. And experts say that's a big problem. And so if you don't believe it when me saying it, imagine what some states like Wisconsin did when they first saw this thing. It takes a lot of work. So Wisconsin, for instance, tried, you know, basically putting a ton of bleach into a pond, another pond, they gave up and just paved it over and turned it into a parking lot. So yeah, we have an uphill battle against us. And it is a frustrating uphill battle. I mean, take a look at these things. Uh, again, this is just one day. They've got like 20 of these traps. I can't actually even tell you where I'm at in Novi. And that's kind of the catch 22. These things are considered a delicacy, delicious to some. So they'll try to come out here and get them. That's why they want your help right now if you see these things. Remember we showed you that picture on the screen, real telltale signs that red. They almost look like a lobster. You see them, you can report them to the DNR. I'm actually putting all the information of how you can do that online right now because the problem is if these things get all over, they can spread pretty quickly. Walk over uh, ground without water on it and they start getting out to more ponds and lakes. The Great Lakes all of a sudden may not be so great one day. Hey, we're live in Novi this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Wow, I never yep. thought it, we'd be dealing with the crawfish problem up here. Yeah, I mean, you would think that it might get too cold during the winter for right. the crawfish to be able to survive. Mm. Yeah, we had the invasive zebra mussel problem. Uh, yes. Hopefully this yeah. is not anything like that right. in scope, yeah. Mm. Mm.